after I bought a Kindle Paperwhite, so I thought I would show you why I got it and kind of discuss it a little bit. So let's get started. So this was on sale, and e-readers like these tend to not be that expensive because they've been around for a while. Um, Amazon just came out with the Kindle Voyage, which was the expensive one. That one's like two hundred dollars, and I was like, no, thank you. Either I think I've had the Nook Simple read or something like that um 2012 and i loved it i absolutely loved it but um after a few years it it flipped off of my bed stand and the, uh it hit the corner of my bed so there's like a giant permanent mark there and it's a little slow it's a little sluggish and really the problem with it is that it doesn't have the glow light like that came later so i couldn't read it in the dark and um it has like that technology that looks like you're reading a book, like it's not backlit like a phone is, so it's easier in the eyes. My eyes don't get strained from reading too much with it, so I needed one that could light up. So the glow light came out, I didn't get it. The Kindle Paperwhite came out, which is the equivalent to the Nook one. I never picked them up because I bought a Nook tablet afterwards, which um, I really loved, and it's one of my favorites, and it's a little slow and sluggish, but or I wanted another e-reader because um, I don't have room for books. Like, I just do not have room to store any more books. I love having a tangible copy. I feel like nothing compares. I was looking at the Kindle, I was looking at the Nook. I have loyalty towards Nooks because Barnes & Nobles is my favorite place in the world. So I was going to get a Nook. And the only reason I did not get a Nook was because um, with Nooks you can't, like I use Bing as my search engine. You get points for using Bing. So I always redeem them from Amazon gift cards and I love doing that. And it's an amazing way of making some money, I guess. Not tangible money, but whatever you know what I mean you can use Amazon gift cards for ebooks I had a $10 Amazon gift card and I really wanted to buy the new shadow hunter mortal instruments I forgot what it's called but here it is I really wanted to buy it and it was like $12.99 the ebook and I was like mm, that's not happening so it was my $10 card I only paid like $2.99 or something so point is I chose a Kindle because you can use Bing points for Amazon gift cards and you can use Amazon gift cards for ebooks basically is the story of this. It's awesome. It feels great in the hands. I ordered a case and I'm waiting for it to come because I feel like I don't want to harm it. <laughs> and it was really affordable so I would wait for them to catch, uh, I would wait for there to be a sale. Um, full price they're like $120 but um, the only problem is ebooks are not cheap. They're a little pricey so I have to keep reminding myself that the reason I chose this route wasn't because I wanted to save money it was just I have no room and that makes me feel better but if I think about it in terms of saving money ebooks are Sometimes just as expensive, if not more expensive, than an actual physical book. So I don't understand what's up. With um, I chose the Kindle with no ads. That's one thing I don't like about Amazon, that they offer one with ads and without ads. And the one without ads is like $20 more expensive than the one without. Like, Am Barnes & Noble's never did that. Like, that, it was just one. You just get it. Flat rate. Just $100 or whatever, however much it costed at the time. So... That's something to keep in mind. That's my review or chat about my e-reader. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.